So for most of the last month, I've spent my time in XFCE. Now, I'm on the record for the last two or three years saying that XFCE is one of my favorite desktop environments, but at the time, I really hadn't spent a lot of time in it for a fairly long amount of time. Like, I, I, I had gone many years without actually using XFCE for, you know, any amount of time. So I spent some time in XFCE, and the original plan was two months, but then things happened. So... What I want to do today is kind of do a little bit of a wrap up, but really what I what I want to talk about are the five things that I discovered over the course of my usage of XFC that I think that XFC could do better. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about how XFC could improve with just five simple things. So the first one is that the settings manager application, the set, settings manager settings application should be more prominent. It should be something that they pin to the start menu or make just easily accessible because one of the thing weird things that XFC does is that they split out all of their settings panel into their own individual apps and then they have a like a central settings manager that takes you to those applications that also include some of those applications and they're not it's not always universal and it's it's a very confusing thing for new users in that all the settings, while they are all in one place, they are also in other places, right? And while they're not really in other places, because it's all really considered just one thing, but you can open up just, let's just say you wanted to open up the display manager settings, you could just open those up and you wouldn't have access to the rest of the settings if you wanted them. It's just, a, it's a confusing scenario to be in because the settings are in kind of two different places, even though they're not really, if that makes any sense. So what I think XFC should do is just have the settings manager and then have your menu system able to search through the settings manager to take you to certain places kind of like kd plasma does so kd has one central settings panel settings application but if you wanted to search for display settings or power management settings or whatever you could do so in the kickoff menu and it would t open up the settings manager to that position so you can change those settings whereas with xfce if you were to search through the settings it would take you to the specific app for that setting that you wanted to change, but you wouldn't get, you wouldn't be taken to the settings manager. So it's a little bit confusing because they're in two different places. So I think that they should just make the settings manager the thing instead of breaking them all out into one different place. Now, I know that's a little bit controversial because a lot of people like the way XFC splits out their settings and I'm kind of there too. I do like it, but that's only because I'm used to it. And I know that that's the way XFC does it. If I didn't know that and I was putting myself into the shoes of a new user, I'd find it pretty confusing. So that's the first one on the list. The second one is probably the biggest one, so it should probably should be going at the end, but you know, whoever said I knew how to order these things. So the second one is, I think they should make the whisker menu the default menu. Now, in a lot of distributions, the whisker menu is a separate package that you have to install explicitly or the distro maintainer has to install explicitly. A lot of distros do use the whisker menu as default. I think Kubuntu does. I think if you install XFCE on Arch, you probably do. And if you install Arco, you probably do. But on a lot of distributions, if you install XFC, say on like Fedora or something like that, you're going to get a drop down menu of categories. And that's all you're going to get. There's no search. There's no nothing like that. It's just a drop down menu of categories a la GNOME 2. And that's not a great menu. And it's disappointing when you encounter a distro that uses that drop-down menu of categories simply because you know that the Whisker menu exists. The Whisker menu, as you'll see in the B-roll, is a menu that is full-featured. It has search, it has the ability to pin things to favorites, it has all of these things that you can do with it just like a regular modern-day menu. Unfortunately, it's not the default in every single distribution, and it definitely should be because it's the best menu that XFC has to offer. So that's number two on the list. Number three on the list is one that I've been talking about in regards to F XFC for ages. And that's that the default version of XFC, when you install it on a random distro and you just install the package of XFCE and get all the stuff that goes along with it, is butt ugly. It's really, really bad. You can see it on the B-roll right now. This is about as close to the default XFC as I could get it on Fedora. And it's basically what it looks like. It has a little bar at the bottom, it has the bar at the top, and it has a very ugly wallpaper. All of the GTK applications look like they were built in the 1990s, even though they have other themes installed by default. They could just use Edweta, and it would look 10 times better. In fact, you'll see me in the B-roll right now 
actually making XFC look better, it takes me two and a half seconds or something like that. It does not take me very long to make it look just a little bit better. It makes it look more modern. Instead, it looks like it was built in Windows 98 era. And if you want people to use your desktop environment, which maybe the XFC guys don't care, which is, you know, you know, fine and dandy. But if you want people to not look at your desktop environment and say, wow, that looks really old and outdated, maybe just put just a tiny bit more effort into making the default setup when you install it on like Arch or Fedora or whatever, just look a little bit better. That's all I'm saying. If you make it look a little bit more modern, people will stop thinking that it's so old and outdated. So the last two are going to be two that I think that they're probably working on now that they're going to be implementing Wayland, but I wanted to mention them here and I can't show you any B-roll because I don't have any way of doing so. So the first one is fractional scaling. As it is right now, I don't think the XFC has any ability to do this whatsoever. It's possible that you could use XRander to do it. I'm not sure, but as of right now, I don't think that there's any fractional scaling in XFC. I could be wrong. I don't have a monitor to test it. So I can't really tell you for sure, but I'm pretty sure that XFC does not have fractional scaling. Like I said, that'll probably be something that they be, are able to implement when, once they have Wayland, but it's also possible that they have some stopgap solution in there right now that it just doesn't show up for me because I don't have a monitor that needs it. So uh, fractional scaling probably is something that they'll be working on here pretty soon. The, the other one that I want to talk about, and this one does apply to me, but I can't really show you, is multi-monitor support. And again, it's probably something that will get way better once Wayland is implemented, but multi-monitor support in XFC is not the greatest. I will just say that. It's not the worst. I will, I will say that as well, but it's not the greatest. Out of the box, there are many different little tweaks that you have to make in order to get it to work properly otherwise things move around all the time when the monitors wake back up and I had one hell of a time getting my monitors to go to sleep I never did during the entire month or so that I used XFCE I never did one time get my monitors to go to sleep I did manage to install X screensaver and get them to go blank which is close enough even though you can still see like the backlight, it's better than nothing, but still that was a third party application. So the power management stuff on XFCE could really do better, but it's also possible with that last one that that's just a me problem because every single desktop environment that I use has that problem. So maybe it's just my weird hardware, but I don't have weird hardware. All I have is, you know, an RX 580 and a Ryzen chip. It's not like I'm using some weird brand GPU or something. I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't really matter, but the point is is that I think that multi-monitor support can get better on XFCE and that's something that they should look at. So, those are the five things that XFCE should work on to get better. The first three specifically I think are really important. If they just made the whisker menu default and made it prettier than it is by default, those two things would go miles in a way to making XFCE maybe even the best new user desktop environment out there. I think it's just really fantastic. If they can also kind of put more emphasis on the settings manager application, I think that would also go miles into making it just a little bit easier for noobs to use. Now, there is one aspect that I need to kind of put out there. XFC maybe is not for new users. And that's okay. Everything doesn't have to be for new users. I know that my channel takes a tone that a lot of stuff should be good for new users, but it's not true that everything has to be for new users. So it's possible that the way XFC does stuff right now kind of is just good enough for most people. And that's just the way it is. Now, I do think that a newer, more modern theme for the vanilla version of XFC would make it so that even longtime Linux users would look better upon XFCE. But, you know, they tend to, they seem to have this aesthetic where they don't want to change things. And that's okay because that's the kind of the idea behind XFC. You don't want to, you don't want it to be unstable or seem unstable and new, new highfalutin features could give the sense that, oh my goodness, things are going to change. The world is ending, right? But here's the thing about that. They are going to be implementing the biggest change in XFC history in the next version. They're going to be implementing Wayland. Now, I don't know whether or not this is going to be Wayland by default. Like they really haven't said yet. But no matter what, that's going to be a big change. That would be a fantastic time to make some other changes to kind of go along with that. And probably the biggest one they could make is just make the default look and feel just a little bit more modern. So those are my thoughts on XFCE. I honestly wish I was still using it, to be honest with you, because my three or four days with Plasma while I after I switched to Redcore 
were not fantastic. I mean, the 5.26 experience was really good, and then I updated 5.27 and everything just went to hell. So Plasma, as is usually the, the case, hates my guts, but XFC was really quite good as I expected it to be. So, so that's it for this video. If you have thoughts on XFC or any of that stuff, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon and Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Link for Libera Pay and YouTube will be in the video description as well. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channels would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, 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 very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. Kind of got stuck there on the word very. I don't know why, but anyways, truly do appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Thanks, every, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time. I have no idea why the word everybody is so hard for me to say. Everybody, everybody, everybody. It doesn't matter. See you next time.